So you've been watching all my optimization videos, but how much of a difference does it actually make when you apply all these optimizations to the NVIDIA control panel? Well, that's exactly what I compared today. Default versus optimized. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, second video today. What I'm gonna be looking at is my settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Once you make all the optimizations that I recommend versus the default settings. So just to go through what those changes are, is I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna change anything yet because I do recommend performance. Most of you guys will be on performance. I'm not gonna tell you to put it on quality. So um, I'm starting from a performance platform and then in manage 3D settings, um, I say put on preferred no system fallback. But I'm going to be changing it to driver default. Um, and then open GDI compatibility. I put it on a preferred performance. But the default setting is auto. Power management mode. The default setting is optimal. Uh, shader cache side, size uh, is driver default by default. And then lastly. I set to high quality because high quality uh, for texture filtering doesn't cost too much and it looks a lot better but by default on quality and then lastly um, thread optimization by default would be on auto so I'm comparing all these default settings versus my optimized settings but anyways let's get to it then so guys before I get to my results you guys are awesome thank you so much for the support but please just make certain that you got the notification bell set to all and while you're at it smash the like button share the video comment on the video um, and then for those of the, you that aren't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so if you find this type of content helpful by the end of the video on my homepage, i do have a whole bunch of optimization videos um, uh, uh, the video control panel settings. This is a video on how to unlock undervolting for 10 chain and newer. There's a video to unlock undervolting for 9 chain and older. And there are also various other optimizations on my own page. But that's not what this video is about. Let's get to it then. So, guys, in video control panel, default settings versus the optimized settings that I recommend. So, um, the, all these settings that I changed from my settings to default. Th that's uh, this section over here so guys i tested 5 to 19 so that is 16 games over those 16 games i add up all the average fps and i got to 927 and then i added up all the one percent lows of the 16 games and i got to 680 and then i added up all the 0.1 percent lows of the 16 games and i got to 558 now this is the nvidia control panel on a performance profile but with the, all those settings set to default so no optimizations and then the video control panel with my recommended optimizations so optimized so it would be uh once you go into the video control panel setting custom CUDA system fallback to prefer in a system fallback um open gdi compatibility putting on a preferred performance Optimal power, they're putting on perform maximum performance. Driver default on shader cache, putting it to unlimited. And then quality, uh, it's going to give you less, slightly less performance, but it's going to make things look a lot nicer. And then thread optimization, obviously putting that on instead of auto. So those are the changes that I'm setting in the video control panel for optimized. So when I add up all my average FPS, I get to 935. So you can see it's not a hell of a lot, but it's a little bit higher than um, the default settings in terms of average FPS. But that's not how you determine performance. The way you determine performance is stability. So once I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 715. So you can see it's 35 1% lows higher over 16 games than default, which is 680. So quite a big jump in 1% low stability improvement. And then the 0.1% lows is even better. When I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get 600 over those 16 games as opposed to 558. So that's just like um, little micro status. So uh, your games be more stable in terms of 1% lows. 
So your your low uh, uh, your average low FPS is higher on on these optimized settings that are off you as opposed to default settings, and then it's quite a lot more stable in terms of 0.1% lows. So guys, that is those are my control panel settings. That the, that's the chasm between the default settings and the optimized settings that are off you. Just bear in mind, I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So um, if you've got a slightly weaker card, you might experience bigger uh, margins than I do, bigger improvements. And then adversely, if you want a slightly stronger card, like an RTX card or 3060 or 3070 or even a 40 series, these changes might even be negligible for you. Because the, the weaker your system, the more these are going to make a difference. The stronger your system, the less they're going to have an impact. But that's my two cents. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Have an awesome day. It's people like you. Cheers.